Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope that you are doing amazing. Let me just adjust the scenery. Cancer, this is a reading for you. As I say that, I see the Queen of Cups. Let's do a quick energy check-in, get a feel for the energy, what you may need to be aware of and get straight into the reading. I hope that all is well, Cancer. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I very much appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I am very grateful to have you here. Let's see what you need to know. Messages for cancer, please. Oh, the two of swords in the reverse. The Three of Swords, the Seven of Coins. The Seven of Wands. One more. Three of Cups. Somebody feels like they should have fight, fought more for you, fought harder for something um, with the Two of Coins. This is somebody who you could have felt like this person was kind of hot and cold with you, in and out with you. Um, cancer this could be somebody that even friend zoned you I'll be honest with you with the three of cups being there you could have found that it was very hard to even get somebody's attention okay let alone for anything to kind of develop between you and this person somebody feel, feels like they didn't fight hard enough the seven of coins in here you is here you could have been putting in more effort than another person with the seven of wands you could have been met with a lot of um Back burner energy, you know, cold shoulder type of energy. This is definitely somebody who could want to come back towards you with the Three of Cups. Or there's something about being friend zoned. Somebody could have definitely tried to either demote you or make you feel like you wasn't as important or what have you. This is somebody who is seeing that <laughs> they're probably more hurt than what you are at this point. There could be an energy also here of something turning on a person as well. Some sort of tables turning energy here. This could have been the energy that you were sitting in before with the Three of Swords. And this could be now what this person's realising that they are going through. Something here about being friend zoned. Or wanting to make you feel less important. What's the Three of Swords? The magician card. Somebody feels like they manifested their own heartbreak with the lovers. Could be a Gemini here. Devil. Could be a Capricorn. Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. It's like with the Four of Swords. Somebody didn't take action on something that would have been a very beneficial opportunity to them, Cancer. Somebody's realising that they created an environment where love couldn't really flourish. Um, with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords, somebody's realising how... I want to say how low vibrational they were or how they created a situation where it became such. It's like somebody's realising how awful they treated you with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This is a really harsh reality that this person is facing here. And there's kind of like no way around it because there's an energy here of there being no excuse. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords. Somebody kind of like <sighs> sabotaged their own self. Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Especially if this person was turning their back to you, basically giving, giving you their backside to kiss. This is somebody who is now kissing their own backside because you're not there to do it. Or you're not there for them to feel like they can make you do it rephrase tell me about the three of cups king of coins the the five of swords 
with the Knight of Coins. Somebody continuously made you feel as though you were either less important than them. This is definitely somebody who put them above you. Okay, now you should always put your first, your, sorry, your first, that could be significant. You should always put yourself um, high on your priority list in terms of, you know, how you regard life but this is somebody who definitely is very arrogant this could be somebody who's very showboaty type of energy um they came first every single time this person possibly didn't even care about how you felt especially if this person felt like they were leaving you out of the, in the cold giving you their backside to kiss this could have been definitely somebody who felt like they had more than you or had some sort of monopoly over some sort of um, status. Like, this is the type of person who feels like their crap don't stink. So they would treat people who they deem as less fortunate than them. Again, that's a perception. Um, kind of poorly. And this could definitely be somebody who friend zoned you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all right. Stay over there. That's what I'm getting. Why the five of coins? The judgment. They're under judgment for this. The two of wands. Somebody had a choice. Somebody had a choice to do the right thing. Somebody had a choice to come from a space of being um, morally intact. Or come from a space of four of swords. They're thinking about this now. Or come from a space with the queen of cups. Or come from a space where they thought about themselves and they chose the latter. This is what this is with the queen of wands. Yeah, this could be a fire sign. This is definitely a very attractive person. This person could get a lot of att attention. This person could also get a lot of people wanting to physically be intimate with them. They could also attract a lot of people who just look for the superficial um, things in life. This could be somebody who attracts a lot of attractive people, um, but of a superficial nature, because this is how they kind of put their foot forward, if you get what I mean. So you kind of get what you attract. Mm. interesting let's pull you some soul's journey oracles purpose i know what i am here to do this card keeps coming out for a few of the signs perseverance and that as well regret i know that i cannot change the past humor I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. You have somebody from your past that is kind of pressed about the fact that you are pushing through something here. This could be somebody who's very pressed about you finding some sort of niche or some sort of um, something to grab hold of, something to believe in again. Especially if this person let you down. This person could definitely, I, I do get a sense here, friendship. Somebody friend zoned you somebody friend zoned you i'm getting a strong friend zoned energy you could be the one that friend zoned somebody cancer but i'm getting a strong friend zoned energy somebody definitely made you feel as if priority was not with you now there's an energy here of somebody definitely being in their feelings due to you not being in your feelings you could be going out a lot a comedy show could be very significant right now this could be something that you're wanting to indulge in there's something about you smiling more feeling a little bit more light in your energy and this could come this could have come after some sort of rejection here you're definitely pushing through a lot of you could be working on something specific that's really grounding you and pushing you forward mm. let's see
Tell me about this. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Somebody's holding in some sort of upset, sadness over you. This is this person that's very regretful, Cancer. But they're not telling you this. They're not telling anybody this. I feel, I feel like this person's definitely keeping it to themselves with the Three of Wands. This could be somebody who moved away from you. Page of Wands. Fire sign energy. Three of Cups. There's the friend zone energy. Somebody was extremely... There's, a, there's that decision again. You know, the two, two of Wands came out before, okay? With the Page of Pentacles. Somebody handled you very immature. Very, very immature per, person here. Somebody's possibly even socially immature. Now, you know, I know people deal with things like social anxiety. You know, some people are not able to pick up on social cues. And sometimes it's a struggle, especially when you've been through different things in life, okay? Um, I'm very much aware of that, okay? But there's something here about somebody being very, very um, immature socially, talking to all the wrong people, putting all the wrong people in front of some sort of union or potential for to do right. Again, there's an energy here of somebody having a choice with the two of wands to step into their morals and uphold that or to kind of fold and go the other way somebody chose a lot of low vibrational things to either distract them there could have just been a lot of distractions in general somebody could have always had their eye over there instead of having their eye over here with cancer there's something here about that and with the page of pentacles there's definitely somebody who gave you very little and they're regretting this action now it's the three of cups the seven of wands, the person who was very guarded. This is a whole different deck, guys. And we're getting the same energy. Somebody definitely cold, cold shouldered you. This is very, very clear, this message. So why have they come up here? The moon, because they're up in their feelings now. And they watch you. Somebody could have some sort of ghost account or um, fake account to watch you. They watch you in secret. They watch you hidden. Tell me about the moon card. The king of pentacles in the reverse. Oh, they're not doing too hot now. You notice in the other spread, we had that king of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. Mm, things have changed, right? Things have changed with, for this person. Somebody's not doing as hot as what they did. You know that person who stunted on you, that person who wanted you to feel like you were less than, like it was a sport. You know, with that five of pentacles we had there with the king of pentacles alongside that three of cups. Somebody's not doing too hot now. Tell me about this um, king of pentacles in the reverse. This could definitely be an earth sign. The three of wands, the person who has distanced themselves from you or there's distance between the two of you. The fool in the reverse. Somebody's waiting for some sort of new beginning and they're kind of like waiting in vain. The seven of pentacles talks about a break period or a pause. With the four card in the reverse, there's something here about somebody feeling like they're hanging on the edge of the cliff and something isn't dropping for them. Something, something isn't working for them. Tell me about the three of wands. There's a big waiting energy, kind of like a, a stagnancy in their energy with the emperor and the temperance. The knight of wands. With the wild card. Ace of pentacles. In order for this person to have a new beginning, Cancer, in order for them to get this sort of manifestation or forward movement or get back on their feet, somebody could definitely be taking a financial loss right now. In order for this to change for this person, there's an energy here of them needing to kind of reform how they treat other people. Now, this could be definitely a person who treated multiple people the way that they treated you. Like you can kind of discard a person. This is the type of energy that I'm getting here. Temperance. 
the ten of swords yeah discard a person there's some sort of review that this person needs to do in their energy over how they they treat people moving with morale as opposed to what the in crowd are doing is what i'm seeing here this person caused has caused a lot of pain um and i feel like with the temperance being here and the emperor there's sort of like a foot being put down by the universe the universe is tired of this person the night of was this definitely could be a fire sign queen of pentacles yeah you could find that your money's getting better your money's improving we're gonna grab another spread for you as well two of swords while somebody else is blocked off spiritually so it's like spirit has yeah eight of cups as you're walking into some sort of new season of winning establishing yourself some of you could even be um building something from the ground up you're doing very well there's an energy here of you doing very well you possibly had to count your losses in a situation um things could be getting better for you slowly but surely after some sort of um sidelining energy or somebody trying to back burn put you on the back burner or again friend zone um there's an energy here of things improving for you but for somebody else it's not and somebody else is going into a phase where things are not going to be comfortable for this person especially like we saw that five of pentacles and the king of pentacles especially if this person was rubbing some sort of um stunting energy in your face this person could have been very very doing very very well being on their feet doing very well in business, in money, in endeavours, they had all the people around them to celebrate with. Now, that's not so much the case. Whatever wealth they had or whatever um, stability or status that they had, that has kind of run dry now or it's not as um, fresh as it used to be. This person isn't doing as great as what they used to. And somebody's experiencing some sort of downfall and this is spirit kind of like sitting this person down to review how they've been treating people in their season of flourishing. Sometimes the universe wants to see how you're going to do and be in a situation where you've got all the success, all the attention, all the people around you. What would you do with that? Are you going to act like an a-hole or will you draw for your morals and treat people well? Okay, and no one's saying that you necessarily have to splash the cash and, you know, be somebody who gives away your wealth or anything like that but being kind to people and not being mean and not stunting on people is a good place to start and this is somebody who didn't do that when the time called for them to do that with you friendship self-esteem somebody with failure somebody really made you feel bad about yourself this person definitely could have you could have triggered your insecurities self-esteem friendship and failure okay there was a person who definitely made you feel like you was not good enough in some way shape or form and with freedom being here and peace and abundance what am i telling you yeah tables have turned here abundance peace freedom so what you felt in the past friend zoned self-esteem being knocked failure what somebody else kind of put you in a situation to feel or you feel, feel this way is kind of being swapped by some sort of auspicious energy some sort of balance peaceful energy that you're, you don't need to struggle in okay so trust the process trust was underneath that yeah i just see somebody really regretting something here the way that they carried themselves but it's kind of taken for things to slow down for somebody for them to actually realize the error of their ways here now let's look at you because this person is kind of like the topic let's see tell me about cancer five of cups when i tell you somebody is regretful this is a whole new deck you know we've had regret with the oracles we had the five of cups just in the previous spread and the five of cups comes out first and didn't it come out first in the previous spread if i remember rightly it came out over here 
Somebody's really kicking themselves in the backside. Somebody really thought that they were um, giving you their backside to kiss. And you was going to keep kissing it. Somebody's experiencing a loss. Probably a few, a few losses. Eight of Cups as you walk away. There's something about you walking away that's very significant for this person. With the two of wands, there's the choice. Whole new deck, same card. Somebody had a choice between choosing what was right, what was morally sound, and what was low vibrational. And somebody chose the latter, okay? Especially if somebody left you behind. There we have that Queen of Cups again. Morals, you know, compassion, patience. Somebody wasn't patient with you. Especially if he was experiencing a loss at the time as well. The devil in the reverse. There's an energy here with the devil in the reverse. If somebody was very superficial, which I very much see. Money is the root of all evil is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing see no evil, hear no evil. There's that film, isn't it? If you this this goes way back. I know it's an old old film, and my mum, growing up, she definitely influenced me in terms of I know a lot of like um, dated songs, older songs, older music, older films that she kind of um, introduced me to. And there's certain um, films and music that I know about through her and see no evil hear no evil i don't even know the names of the guys that are in that movie but two guys and one of them is blind and one of them is is deaf and they help each other and i think they're criminals or something really good movie funny movie temperance some and that temp the temperance came out before okay that's what i was going to say if somebody was superficial before if somebody put a lot of emphasis on, you know, valuing a person over through what they had, what they look like, how they dress, what they drive, where they live, what, however far you want to take this. This is somebody who's being stripped of that. And it's like the universe, you know, this is Archangel Michael um, with the temperance card being here. It's like somebody's being made to feel lack. This could just be sadness. You can feel lack through sadness. Page of Wands could be a fire sign. Um, you can feel lack through sadness. You can feel lack through not having, um, not seemingly having enough wealth. The King of Cups. Um, in terms of money, there's various ways you can feel lack. Not having people around, it depends. But I do feel like there's something here about somebody being um, put to sit down. The two of cups in the reverse. People could be leaving this person, disconnecting from this person because of this superficial characteristic that they possess with the four of wands. This is somebody who's trying to make some sort of change in their life to kind of have something that is more stable. Now for you, Cancer, I do see that you possibly have a new person that you may be considering here. After kind of uncovering that somebody wasn't right for you or some sort of disconnect. There could be an energy here of you talking to somebody new. Four of Wands, yeah. Yeah. You could be connecting with a, a water sign. You could also be talking about long term with a water sign specifically. You could be talking about location wise where you would like to live in the future specifically. Death card, three of swords, four of swords. This past person keeps showing up in your reading. It's like where, where I'm looking at, looking at your future with the two of wands, looking at what you're on to next with the king of cups, water sign energy. Look what's come out. You considering your future, building stability, and then the death card comes out, three of swords and the four of swords. This is the person who's definitely thinking about what they put you through. There's somebody who's extremely hurt over you extremely hurt over you with the nine of wands and it's because of how you've managed to pick yourself up i don't know if this person felt like they held the key to your confidence with that self-esteem card 
because this definitely could have been somebody who even stunted other people or made you feel like all these other people looked better, were better to be around, their character was better. This is this is the kind of vibe that this person wanted to help make you believe. And now someone is kind of like getting all those feelings that they made you feel in a situation. And it doesn't feel comfortable. The Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles for Cancer? Knight of Swords. Oh, oh, with the four of cups. You see how somebody tried to give you their backside to kiss? Cancer, you have someone here who is going to be very ruffled, disheveled, antsy about some sort of stability that you're building for yourself. You see, sometimes it's not a good idea to stunt on, on, on other people, okay? No, it's not good to stunt on other people, especially when you do it with ego and you're trying to knock somebody else down. It's never a good idea to do that. Never a good idea to do that. And this person wasn't smart in that way. And now they're paying the ultimate price with the death card, the three of swords and the four of swords while you move into the energy of planning for the future, planning for the future with the ten of pentacles right while this person wriggles around in their pants because now they have your backside to kiss okay and i'm gonna say it like that you have worked extremely hard from the eight of pentacles up to the nine of pentacles you've been put in some sort of consistent work on a vision okay this could be a project this could be definitely a business for a lot of you for a lot of you it is your money something about your money I do get a sense that if this person, you know, you did come out earlier on as that five of pentacles compared to that king of pentacles, where somebody felt like they had one over on you or they had more than you. And this was definitely somebody who wanted you to sit in the energy of lack. This is definitely a person who wouldn't necessarily, you know, hold their hand out to take your hand and to guide or take take your hand to help in or assist in any which way shape or form and I definitely get in that situation where somebody was presented with two options whether to be a good person and to help another individual or to at least put their hand out to support okay which would have gone a very long way Sometimes a little bit of support goes an extremely long way for a person, especially when they're experiencing a hard time. But what they chose to do was do something that was morally, spiritually not favoured, not favourable. And as a result of that, somebody is with the um, devil card in the reverse. They're taking a big hit to their ego, to what they hold dear, which is all things of a superficial nature, which is what people look like, which is, you know, them attaching their value to their wealth. What do you think spirit is going to do first? They're going to attack that first. That gets stripped right back, okay? And now this is the reason why this person is experiencing some sort of sadness, because something is being alchemized in the energy to make somebody realize the way that they're treating people, okay? Now, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. There's an energy here definitely of somebody definitely being indirectly some sort of um, ammunition, drive for you to go hard or go home, okay? I don't know what you've been doing, Cancer, but I feel like there's an energy of you having some sort of disappointment, you possibly being shrugged off, okay? given a backside to kiss, as this person felt like that's what you deserved, okay, bull crap, by the way, and, you know, with the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, you have used that to build yourself up, brick by brick, step by step, okay, piece by piece, and what you are about to walk into, the eight to the nine to the ten, to the queen of pentacles. I haven't even picked up this card that came out as well. With the six of wands. <laughs> they can kiss your backside now. Okay. It's almost like somebody made this a whole competition. Oh, I have more than you. I can do better than you. I have better people around me. You don't have anything. Um... There's that vibe that I'm getting from this. And man, are you showing somebody? 
somebody's not gonna like this this rise they're not what's the six of wands page of pentacles now somebody feels small the hermit in the reverse somebody feels very lost and the ten of cups in the reverse and now what they're realizing is they kind of <sighs> sabotage themselves out of a happily ever after a happy ending if you like with the justice card and that my dear is how the cookie crumbles this could be a libra karma justice came did you see me shuffle did you see me shuffle rewind that back wheel of fortune that my dear is how the cookie crumbles this is karma I can't believe how that just happened like that. Justice wants to be seen. The Wheel of Fortune wants to be seen. For Six of Cups, the past. The Hierophant talks about your belief system. Somebody didn't do the right thing when they had the opportunity with the Five of Pentacles, we've come full circle, to help another person. And now they must pay the ultimate price while you glow up. You possibly find new love, okay? Somebody who's gonna be very patient with you. Somebody is about to walk into a season from not doing the right thing with the Four of Pentacles of not being happy. Yeah, foolish, fool in the reverse. Something's being alchemized to make somebody see the error of their ways. And they're not happy. Cancer. Wow. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Turning pain into power. I love an underdog. I will say it every single time. Mm. That's what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, sending you so much love and light. Thank you for your continued love and support. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.